With so many moving parts and such high standards to uphold, it's always possible that something is going to go wrong on the set of Game of Thrones. Throughout the show's eight seasons, a number of performers have suffered for their art. Here's how. Sandor Clegane is so fearsome that the character earned one of the coolest nicknames in all of Game of Thrones, the Hound. He survived trial by combat, a massacre by the phrase, and being thrown off a cliff by Brienne of Tarth. The actor who portrays Clegane, Rory McCann, got a bit battered too. You want to cut my throat? Get on with it! The seventh season episode Beyond the Wall finds the Hound and others waging war against the Night King and his forces. Clegane has to carry a white through much of the trek, forcing McCann to dash here and there, sometimes across real ice, while the actor playing the undead creature twisted and tumbled on his shoulders. It all left McCann with such intense pain that he sat for an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald while holding an ice pack to his leg. McCann told the paper, I had this guy on my shoulder for days and days. It didn't work with a dummy, so I had to carry a real guy, and we had to run and run. Jon Snow is the sensitive, brooding, and sometimes pouty leading man of the Game of Thrones universe. But you can't blame him for that, really, because a lot of bad stuff has happened to him. <laughs> For the watch. <clears throat> Playing Jon Snow has been much more pleasant for actor Kit Harington. Game of Thrones brought him international stardom, an Emmy nomination, and the hand in marriage of co-star Rose Leslie, but also quite nearly permanent mutilation. Filming a dragon flying scene for the show's eighth season involved Harrington mounting a massive flailing mechanical apparatus called a buck. His character had to almost fall off, forcing Harrington to hold on and to endure a tight squeeze and my right ball got trapped and I didn't have time to say stop and I was being swung round. Fortunately, Harrington finished the scene and escaped with all of his parts intact. Since season two, actress Jimma Whelan has played Yara Greyjoy, the now undisputed queen of the Iron Islands. She's a relentless warrior and commander of a ship called the Black Wind and a lot of her scenes involve battles at sea. Whelan was filming a scene near Belfast, Northern Ireland for the seventh season of Game of Thrones when she sustained some kind of injury requiring hospitalization. On September 14, 2016, Whelan posted to her Instagram account a photo of some old-fashioned hospital-issue underwear. The pic came with a wry caption from Whelan, describing how a ward nurse offered her the undergarments because she arrived at the hospital, quote, a bit suddenly and unprepared. Whelan never confirmed exactly what happened to her on set or how, but she soon rejoined the series. Eight seasons of Game of Thrones built up to The Long Night, the episode featuring the Battle of Winterfell, the apocalyptic confrontation between a massive army of zombie-like White Walkers controlled by the Night King, and the assorted United Human Contingents of Westeros taking a break from fighting one another. It's one of the largest sequences ever filmed for Game of Thrones, which made for an intense, grueling shoot. We're fighting death! I can't beat death. In March 2019, Entertainment Weekly reported that one of the series' regular actresses suddenly collapsed on set while filming a scene that involved what the outlet described as a lot of standing still. A crew member noticed the fall right away and called out for a medic, who promptly tended to the unnamed actress. The official line? The actress fainted, went home, and returned to the set the following day. Part of what makes Game of Thrones so thrilling is the scenery. The series has shot in exotic locations all over the world and filmed many sequences in the breathtaking rocky wilds of Northern Ireland, which stood in nicely for the hinterlands of the Seven Kingdoms and beyond. While it looks great on screen, the area posed its own unique challenges for the production, particularly the elements. The weather can get awfully brutal just off the sea in the Northern United Kingdom. While shooting near the village of Ballantoy in 2011, the crew erected a pole tent where workers and extras could have lunch. Then winds from Hurricane Katia whipped through the area and tore the whole thing down, according to the Belfast Telegraph. In the chaos, four men and one woman sustained minor injuries, enough to briefly land them in the hospital. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Game of Thrones are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.